Okay, I have to use my old camera here, my camcorder. My battery's was very low on it, so I just switched cameras. It's Sunday, uh, August 17th, 2014. I'm doing a Joe Pipe test. I've been uh, away from the YouTube community for almost two years. I haven't stopped testing. This here is a two pipe system it's called a JP2 or Joe Pipe 2 it involves an outer inch and a half pipe and uh, an inner solid uh, bar approximately three-eighths of an inch and uh, I want to get something here these are some of the nipples that a friend of mine made up this is a two inch a nipple with uh, some soft steel insert made. This is the other pipe for this. The difference between this JP2 test and the other test that I'm actually uh, believe that the, the steel nipple forms a kind of a cold junction as far as a thermal pile or thermal couple circuit is concerned and uh, where the fire is spinning around the 3 8 pipe on the inside that forms the, uh, the hot junction and what happens uh, theoretically that the fire should produce some kind of ionization field that have an influence on the flame and uh, this morning I did try it without any uh, just a straight bar and that and had a hard time to really get it up to efficiency I do have a also still an insert uh, back toward where you see the inch and a half to two inch reducer and the inch and a half pipe Pipe coming back into the uh, reducer there. I do, I do have like a like an egg that's smaller than the ID of the pipe. That's just to help uh, increase the, the flame potential to make it more smoother. And what I did to increase it, thought well, you know, in a in a thermal coupler, you don't use two pieces of stainless steel or standard wire or two pieces of copper, you always use a difference, uh, maybe a copper and maybe a, a steel wire, you need the potential difference in the wire. So the inner and outer pipe, they're basically mild steel, I didn't see much of a difference. I did notice an increase in the in the vortex, vortexing of the, of the flame was smoother, before I had more of a chattering effect with uh, uh, steel and steel, you know, it, uh, I did see an improvement. So what I did, I took some 19 gauge stainless steel wire, about 10 feet of it, and I wrapped it in front of the uh, soapstone. You know, I left out about maybe uh, six inches of uh, <coughs> three-eighths pipe coming out. And I wrapped the stainless steel wire on that, and it did make an effect. So it looks like I may be onto something here. So I'm going to spin the uh, pipe uh, into the camera range. I have to move the whole body here. The other camera I could actually zoom in. doing these tests and bring the camera closer about two feet from the edge and we have to drop the edge down a bit
when the sideline's kind of taking away the part of the heat. Okay, I'm gonna crank it all the way here. 